Well, we are back. We're on the Chippewa flowage today and we're just putzing around. We're fishing coves and points and rock bars and basically that's all the Chippewa flowage is. But uh, yeah, I figured we were out here. We caught a couple little pike already and like a little crappie and it's like, well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll shoot a video. Why not? We're out here fishing. It's what we do. So let's shoot a video, uh, show you guys what we're using, show you how we're fishing and uh, hope you can learn something and Maybe we can catch some more fish. What do you think, honey? You got one on? Mm -hmm. Oh, another eye. You got an eye? Yeah, this one. Woo, look at that. Just lift. Look at that. Careful flowage intro and walleye. <laughs> Good job. That's awesome. Good job. I think I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this guy off real quick here. Look at that. It's like, hey, let's film a video. Boom, walleye. On a beetle spin too, guys. That's what we're using. I'll show you that. Take this or take your fish off. This guy's got a messed up uh, dorsal. His dorsal is like super short. See that? Never seen a walleye with a super short dorsal. Oh yeah. yeah you want to cool. hold them? He's got just a short micro. <laughs> you got a micro dorsal. That's so cool. It's like grown in and everything. That is awesome. Well, what do you got to say, hon? Catch a fish during the intro. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. Right on. Right off that little stump. Some logs right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Four foot of water. Four foot. You want to take a picture with them quick? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Boom. Down. Cool. That's awesome. Good job. All right, so we're just floating along. She was using a beetle spin. I was gonna show you what I was using. I have on, it's just like a little tiny plastic tail with a jig with a little underspinner on it. And super, super easy, super simple little, basically jig and plastic, just covering water. We're floating, we're drifting, casting that stuff. So let's keep on going. So. Just like that. Oh, in this rod we have a jig and a minnow just kind of chilling out. There's nothing really special about it. It's just kind of hanging there. And if it gets eaten, it gets eaten. So we're basically just kind of just pulling in nice and slow. fish oh that one hit it on the fall this is if this is another walleye like i'm gonna be amazed like it feels like a walleye it's dogging really hard and it feels super duper heavy but i had some little yeah i'll definitely need the net this is a good one big walleye not big maybe a 20 or so that's a nice one though yeah here he comes sure. come swinging them around this line here he comes Nice! Another one! Nice job. Oh, and it just popped out too. Sweet! So again, guys, there's the lure. Just a little pink thing with a spinner and a spinner. Way to go! We could probably keep this guy and eat him, but we'll let him go. Settle down, settle down, settle down. So I learned that when the DNR spawn fish, when they milk them out for eggs and, and spawn and they get the eggs and stuff, they cut the tail and they send that in usually on the females. I didn't ask about the males, but you catch a walleye and it's got a little cut right there. That means that the DNR milked it out and took its eggs and, or took its eggs and, you know, made more walleyes with it. So that's kind of neat. I should throw this jig and minnow up there. If they're hitting this, mm -hmm. just take this jig and minnow and slap this right in there. This should be instant. Oh, I got one. This is on the jig and minnow. Like I hit, I casted it and it was on before it hit bottom. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. What do we have? Another eye. Little guy. Nice. Oh, whip. That was on the gold jig and minnow. So basically these guys are eating like anything right now. Pretty fish. Look at this blue in his cheek. All right. Get you out of here, buddy. 
<clears throat> See you later. Small. It's small. Is it like a super, super tiny small? Twelve-inch walleye, or is it a rock bass? Um, it's a bluegill. What? Oh, so there's that. Huh? So we got bluegill on this log. We got walleye on this log. See ya. Go again. Watch your pole. Is my pole still over here? I'm gonna toss, I'm gonna leave the slip bobber out and then I'm gonna throw my little, I'm gonna throw my little pink jig up there. Again. Oh, Bobber just dropped. <laughs> I seen that. Of course. Come on, come on, come on. On. Nicer fish. Oh. Came off. It was nice. Yeah, it was. It was probably another eye. Dang. It was definitely an eye. It felt good. All right. Well, that one ate the minnow. Just didn't have a hook in them good enough. All right. Back to the little pink, pink thing. I was just about to cast it out, and boom, there there was a bobber. And the bobber was right between the oh, two I roots. Just had a butt. You had one? Yeah. Alright, light window, here they are. I'm on. Of course. I'm on. I cast it right where the bobber was at. Mine's little though. It's gonna jump. Rock bass. Nah. Okay. No, it definitely, whatever I had before this felt better. A little rock. Oh, look at this. It's got the middle. Oh, it had the middle in its mouth. But it might not have been the minnow from the last exact It fit. might have been the minnow from me because I don't have a minnow anymore and I got bit. Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> Fresh plastic for you. Here we go. Done. This one's good. This is another eye. This is another eye. Ready? Here he comes. He's lifting up. I'm dark. I can barely see him. Nice. Nice eye. Way to go, hon. All right. Do you think we're catching the same fish? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a nice one. That is a good one. You liked that fresh plastic. Yeah, you did like the fresh plastic. I just snapped off and I just retied on another one quick. Sure enough. Look at how pretty this fish is. Look at his connection point on his back fin. Look at that. It's like black. That's super cool. All right. See you later, bud. This is a crappie plastic. It's some big bobs bites. I don't remember even what it is. It's a walleye plastic now. Yeah, it is a walleye plastic. Huh. Fish, another one. Oh, this one's good. This one's really good. This one's big. Two casts later, or one cast later. This one's big. This is like 20 plus inches. Oh my gosh. So guys, I don't really talk about it much, but I've been using Fox River rods for the past couple of years. This is a 6'6 medium light, and it's one of my favorites. I drop shot with it. I slip bobber with it. I jig like this with it. This is a good fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. Yes, it is. It's huge. Oh my god. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's a monster. Just Get down be gentle. There. Get down there. Be gentle. Oh, oh my gosh. Not he does yet. not yet. like not the yet. net. Not yet. That's 26 inches. That's 26 inch easy. You gotta get her in the boat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, just chill. He's hooked up good. Just chill. I'm just gonna lift him. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let him fight, let him fight, let him fight, let him fight. Come to the back. And where we can get him, we're going to get him up. Oh, no, dude. Chill out. <laughs> Keep down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, all right. Just this way. Just, just come this way. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on. Oh, he's such a big fish. He's so big. He's in the net. Oh, it just came off. Yes. Babe. Yes. Oh my God. It literally popped out in the net. Okay, put him in the water quick. Put him in the Look water. Look at his head. 
Kevin. That's an eight pound fish. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just leave it in the water for a second. Let's get the big camera out and make it quick. Holy buckets. That's the biggest walleye for me for the season right mm. there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is a giant. Okay, I'm gonna get the bump board out. Okay, there's the bump board. I'm gonna get the big camera and give you the big camera, okay? All right, this is probably <laughs> the biggest wall I have ever caught. I got one on my wall that's like 27, 28. I don't know, this is just big. Look at that fish. All right, pop a picture quick. Oh, holy smokes. Okay. Oh my god. So gosh. we're gonna take a quick measurement. Big cam. Um. Yeah, 20, that's what I said, 26, and it's 26 and a half. Look at its head, it's huge. That's amazing. Yeah, 26 and a half inch. Go. Oh, Lee. Look at that fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, babe. That was awesome. Whew. Holy smokes. Just under seven pounds. Like, okay, just over six, but under seven. Oh man. Literally. That's our like fifth walleye right there. 26 and a half inch. Okay, goodbye until next fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sick. There's gotta be something sitting back off of these, this little bog. Looks good. Fish. Probably another eye. Staying low, feeling good. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What do we have? Oh, a little eye. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. This place is just stacked with walleyes right now. All right, another guy. Open up. There we go. The little pink jig does it again. See you, bud. So I said, I said, there's got to be something up in here. I'm gonna throw a slip bobber and minnow out here quick. See if anything wants to eat. Slip, slip bob and minnow. Put on the minnow. Let her go over here. Let's see what happens. Just went down. Bobber down, bobber down. Here we go. Oh, this is good. Another eye. An... Uh, another eye? Yeah, I think so. Feels good. Yeah, nice yeah, eye. Is. Maybe like a 20 inch or so. <clears throat> On the bobber and minnow. Thanks for the net job, hon. I should let you be reeling this in. Why didn't you take it? It's okay. There we go. Another nice fish. Listen to you. Another just nice just fish. another nice one, she says. It's a really <laughs> nice eye, honestly. That's probably 22 inch, maybe. Good fish. Great fish. Great fish. Uh oh, it's bleeding. Oh no. It is in its gullet, but it's not super bad. Do you need these? What are these? <sighs> yeah. There we go. A little bit of surgery. This this little guy should be just fine. See you later, buddy. Oh, this one got chowed by something. Interesting. See that? Something smacked it. All right, when you're ready. Sorry to trick you with a minnow. There we 
good? Are you good? That one's got to be in slot, if anything. Uh, could probably be a keeper. I'll give it a minute to chill out till it gets ready to go. Perhaps it may have died. Mm. Oh, there was a good flop. Are you gonna be ready? Did you wanna go? It's, it's thinking, but let's give it a quick measure, toss it in the live well. This fish is 19 and a half. So literally one more inch bigger and it, we couldn't keep it. Mm -hmm. Even if it was dying, we'd have to throw it back. What a shame. Those lily pads are tripping me out Fish. Though. Fish on. Bass? No, it's one of them big bluegills. When I was That's like, a tank. When I was like, will this catch a bluegill? Sure enough. Catch 26 inch walleye and six inch bluegill. See you later, buddy. Well, we are wrapping it up. We got some walleye, some crappie, some bass, some pike, bluegill, rock bass. We caught a lot of fish out here today and it's only like second, third time actually like fishing it hard. Um, trying to learn it a little bit better and you know, fishing coves, fishing rocks fishing structure. I mean, we pulled up to that walleye spot. We caught like five or six walleye. And um, we are like, oh, it looks good for crappie. So we're throwing crappie stuff at it. And then boom, walleye, it's like crazy. But uh, if you guys want to check out the Fox River Rods, there is a link in the description and a discount code. So you guys can pick some Fox River Rods up. They're um, really nice rods and they're actually like, you know, decent price. They're not like outrageous for a rod. They're a really nice rod and I've been using them for a couple of years now. So check them out if you're interested. This one is a 6.6. Like I said, that's one I use most of the time. I do run a 7.3 medium light, um, but 6.6 is really where it's at for me. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed joining us out on the Chippewa Float today. Um, there's, there's always water out here to explore. So if you're up this way, get out and explore it. And like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.